from Mr. 414 Ministries with something to think about. Hey, thank you so much for watching the videos and a special shout out to my Patreon partners. God bless you and thank you. Do you want a breakthrough in your life? Do you feel like you have come up against a wall that you have been praying and it just seems like it's hitting the ceiling and dropping and you're getting no answers? Well, let me tell you what, you could be closer to your breakthrough than what you realize. Listen to this verse. We're going to be in 1 John chapter 1 and we're going to be in verses 8 and 9, okay? It reads like this. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And you're just like, I know you're thinking this. What in the world does that have to do with my breakthrough? I'm not quite understanding. Well, let me connect the dots for you real quick here, okay? See, a lot of times in our lives, we are kind of categorizing what sins are, all right? We take these small little things and we say, well, that's really not that big of a deal. You know, I'm, I was just talking with this person about this other person. I mean, it's really not a big deal, honestly, you know? Or I, I just, I kind of, I made a story sound better than it really was. You know, I just, I had to put a few pieces together there. It wasn't that big of a deal. But honestly, guys, you got to realize every little sin cost Jesus his life on the cross. I mean, okay, let me give you a little scenario and, and tell me how you do on this one, all right? Say you're walking down the road and then you come across this like this field out there. There's no like little fences around it or anything like this. You do see a posted sign up there and it says private property. But then you see out there in the field just, just a little bit in. I mean, you don't even have to take a few steps. It's this beautiful tree and it's got all these wonderful red ripe apples on it. I mean, they look really delicious. And you just kind of look at it for a minute. You think about it for just a second, but you're ready to move on. Well, out comes a person and you didn't see them standing over there behind this, this other like little bush there. And it comes up to you and says, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? And you're like, well, yeah, yeah, sure it does. But it's private property. And then they respond back, oh, come on, really now? <laughs> I mean, there's not even a fence around it, let alone an electric fence. And I've already scoped it out. There's no camera. So really, nobody is going to see you. So you think about it from, and, and you think, well, I don't know. And he goes, oh, come on, it's only an apple. And it's not like you're going to take a whole bushel and make an apple pie. I mean, really, you're just going to take one apple. So... The test is here. Do you go and grab an apple and then go on your merry way? Or do you say, you know what? It says private property. No, thanks. Keep on walking. All right. Now, let me bring that back to the Bible. All right. There's another story in the Bible in Genesis where another woman was tempted by Satan at the one tree that, they, that she wasn't supposed to eat that fruit. It had private property around it. You're not supposed to eat from that tree. And she went ahead and ate from the tree. Now, in today's day, we might have said, well, just a piece of fruit. But it cost her. You know what? I am guaranteeing you, she and her husband and the serpent never expected what kind of consequences were going to follow from eating that one apple. I mean, the consequences have fallen all the way down to now because we have a sin nature. See, our sin not only affects us, it can affect things around us, it can affect people around us, it has lasting effects. But what does the Lord say? He tells us right here how we can get past that. See, God is not going to bless sin. If we have sin in our lives, if we have minimized sin in our lives, what do we need to do? We just need to confess it. We just need to say, Lord, I am so sorry I have been unfaithful to you. I am so sorry I have been doing this or been doing that. Please help me to get rid of that in my life. Please help me to follow you and give you glory. And I pray, Father, that you would give me those breakthroughs in my life that I have been longing for. And guys, you just wait and see what happens in your life as you truly repent of these things and watch God work. This has been Tracy from Mr. 414 Ministries with something to think about.